Stephen Fennick from Tech Guide, and I'm here to talk to you about this. This is the 15 inch MacBook Air. It was announced last week at the Worldwide Developers Conference. This has a 15.6 inch display to go with, of course, the existing 13 inch MacBook Air running the M2 chip that was released late last year. The 15 inch model has the same M2. So in terms of performance, both have exactly the same performance. The only difference being that the 15 inch being a larger computer actually has a little bit more thermal capacity. So what happens with the with the MacBook Air is that if it hits hits a point where it start things start to get a little bit hot, it pulls back on the processor. But with more space inside, the 15 inch can actually just go a little bit further. So let's talk about the specs and let's let's give you a closer look. Here is here is the the MacBook Air 15 inch. So it is remarkably thin, as you can see, 11.5 millimeters. Uh, it does weigh 1.51 kilograms, does have the MagSafe charger as well as the two Thunderbolt ports as well. So you can do things like you can, you can add uh, monitors if you like. So if you want to expand your desktop, it does allow you to do that. Let's compare it to the 13 inch. So here is the, this is the 15 inch model you're looking at right here. Now here is the 13 inch in the same color. So you can see the size difference there. So naturally, this is uh, the the 15 inch. The, the the 13 is actually 13.6 inch, I believe, and the and the 15 is 15.3. So you can just tell just by that size comparison that you're getting much more screen real estate with the MacBook Air. It has a 15.6 inch Retina display. Don't forget the Retina, uh, and is exactly the same width as the uh, 13 inch model. This 15 inch model being 11.5 millimeters thick, it is actually the thinnest 15 inch laptop in the world. Now on board as well, there are six speakers. So not only does it have a great retina display, six speaker system, including two force opposing woofers as well. So it's not just for work. If you want to be, you want to kick back and watch a movie, listen to your music, it's going to sound great as well. Speaking of work though, the processor is M2. And so that's that's capable of doing things like video editing, photo editing, uh, plenty plenty of applications that can be used. So if you're if you're the sort of user who is do does the occasional bit of editing, the occasional bit of photo editing, then this is the device for you. You can of course go down the MacBook Pro path, but if you're mainly doing those sorts of things, you need that extra power. You're a creative professional, then naturally that's a better fit, and that's of course more expensive. The, the MacBook Pro is available in 14 and 16 inch. So this is a nice middle ground here, the 15 inch display. If you want a thin and light computer, but you don't want to be weighed down by the extra weight of a MacBook Pro, then the MacBook Air is ideal. Now you can uh, spec up the MacBook Air 15 inch with M2 up to 24 gig of unified memory and up to two terabytes of storage as well. So plenty of room there. 24 gig unified memory is what, what Apple now calls RAM. So that is uh, that is the, the new term they use there. Let's talk battery life. I've been using this for a few days and it's superb. And that that's all because it's running the Apple Silicon. Apple Silicon has created this incredible efficiency. So when you're working away, up to 18 hours is what Apple's quoting, and I can work all day and into the next before I've got to even charge this thing. So it is it is quite efficient when it comes to power usage. It does, of course, have a full the full keyboard, all, all, all the bells and whistles you'd expect. I love this massive trackpad too. That's that's really cool having that trackpad there as well. So good for gestures, good for for moving around the system. Full size keyboard, no speaker grill. See here, I noticed. Uh, with the Pro, you got speaker grills here. So all the all the sound actually comes out here. So it actually pushes up off the screen and then towards towards the user. So uh, that is remarkable in itself. It does actually sound sound quite good. So that's about the basics of the MacBook Air 15 inch. It does, of course, the 13 inch is still going to be available as well. These are both Starlight, by the way. These are the Starlight colors. So you can actually see the comparison right there. 
The 15 inch MacBook Air starts at 2199 bucks. That's $400 more than the 13 inch. So if you want, you want a bigger screen, it's gonna cost you $400 more. Uh, but as I said, performance is pretty much on par with the 13, apart from those if you do, there is a bit more space in for sort of the thermals, it, it will work a bit harder, the processor, when you are pushing it to the limit. But generally, same same deal, processor, same level of uh, unified memory you can get up to, same storage, up to two terabytes for both as well. $21.99 for the MacBook Air 15 inch, was only just announced a week ago. I've been using it for a few days already. And I think if you're a, for a, for a user like myself, who I do the occasional bit of editing, I do the occasional, sort of higher end bit of work, audio editing as well. This is perfect. The M2 chip is, is perfect. It can get through all that work, not a problem. I've even used Final Cut Pro on it, handles it without a problem. But as I said, if you're a more a full-time professional doing more of those sorts of tasks, then probably look at a MacBook Pro. This might not be for you, but for, for everyone else, I reckon for 90% of the population, the MacBook Air is ideal. So now available in 15 inch and 13 inch. If you want to read our complete review, check it out at techguide.com.au. Thanks for watching.